Hi everyone, my name is Trisha. I'm the Live Be Yoga ambassador. And I am sitting in beautiful Sun Valley, Idaho, and about to lead this gratitude practice for you all. And I've been thinking a lot about how we are already midway through 2021 and how we all have like come out of a really, really hard past year, which is 2020, and how things seem to be moving forward, but also we have a lot of uh, things that we're also trying to shed and leave behind. And so as I think about gratitude and practicing gratitude, my own practice, um, is allowing myself to actually sit through the hard emotions because without doing that, I feel like practicing gratitude is really inauthentic uh, to my own being. And so I invite you as we think about this practice, um, if there's anything that you need to let go of, uh, any grief that you might still be processing, to just hold space for that, to name that it's there. Um, and sometimes, uh, sometimes it's really easy to try to avoid that. Um, and the first step is to actually just name that grief and that hardship is there so that we can practice gratitude. Before we begin with our grati gratitude ceremony, I want to acknowledge the tribal lands of Idaho. We have the Kootenai, Coeur d'Alene, Nez Perce, Shoshone Bannock, and Paiute tribes. And so I wanna invite you to also acknowledge the ancestral lands that you might be on as we practice this ceremony today. So wherever you are, I invite you to find a comfortable seat. Um, you can be lying down even or standing, just what feels best for you to enter into a space uh, to practice gratitude. I'm gonna stay seated. So wherever you are, I invite you to either close your eyes or gaze down at the ground in front of you. As you begin to center yourself in your posture of choice, I invite you to take a breath in through your nose and a breath out through your mouth. <sighs> Acknowledging the ancestral lands that you are on, expressing gratitude for the people that came before you. And part of practicing gratitude is also acknowledging our past, self, our future, and our present. And so as we take these next few moments here today, I invite you to think of any past versions of who you are or any ancestors that you'd like to recognize and bring into this space. Let anyone come to your mind, their face, their name, acknowledging their presence. Acknowledging all of their experiences that have led you to this very moment, this present moment. And now I invite you to acknowledge your future self. Maybe think about what you desire, maybe how you'd like to feel. 
And maybe you can picture yourself standing in front of your future self, whether that's one year from now, 10 years from now. Taking a moment to say thank you to your future self. And slowly let yourself kind of walk away from your future self for a moment. Bring yourself back to this present moment. The practice of santosha in Sanskrit translates to contentment. This very present moment here is a lesson to practice santosha. So can we allow ourselves to sit with our present self here? Saying thank you to all that you are in this moment. Expressing gratitude towards your mind, your body, your heart. I invite you to go ahead and place one hand on your hearts, one hand on your belly. And if this feels okay, you can gently kind of place firm pressure against your belly and heart. Letting this self-touch be a form of feedback that you are here, you are present, you are in control. practice of gratitude also teaches us that when we are unsure of what to do next, all we need to do is take one breath and another breath out. So as you breathe here, we'll go ahead and close this practice with my singing bowl. And each time I ring my bowl, I invite you to inhale and exhale. Go ahead and give yourself a hug, squeeze with your arms, either out loud or in your mind, saying thank you to yourself. And then also sending out that gratitude externally 
thinking of your ancestors, the people in your life, the people you have yet to meet in your future. I invite you to bring your hands at heart center. Take an inhale through your nose and an exhale out. Thinking the lands that you are on. In my mother tongue, I say salamat po. Thank you so much for joining me today.